Unihertz Titan Slim Review. In the year 2022, phones with a QWERTY keyboard are exceptionally unique. At one time Nokia and Blackberry made them extraordinarily popular worldwide. That era is no longer present. A committed group of cellular telephone users, however, still insists on having hardware QWERTY keyboards. This review of the Unihertz Titan Slim will certainly appeal to them. Unihertz Titan Slim follows a familiar candy bar style QWERTY form, similar to the BlackBerry Kion and Key 2 series. This means it is an Android touchscreen smartphone with a landscape keyboard that's attached to the device. It is a much thinner design than its predecessor, the Unihertz Titan. The Titan Slim possesses a 4.2-inch touchscreen display with a resolution of 768x1280 pixels, situated beneath which sits the hardware QWERTY keyboard. It is 4G LTE-enabled and utilitarian with two SIM capacities while running off of Android 11. Powering this phone is an aged entry-level Leo P70 chipset, however, thankfully better features are seen with its 6GB RAM and 128GB built-in storage. There isn't any external memory alternative present. We outfitted our phone with an 8MP front camera and a 48MP rear camera for capturing photos and videos. The fingerprint scanner was implemented into a touchpad on the top of the physical keyboard. This touchpad also serves as a home key, just press it from any screen, and the phone will be taken back to the home screen. Lastly, the device possesses a 4100 mAh battery which makes it clear that it isn't performance oriented. The low-end processor speaks volumes about the expected results. The Titan Slim is thin and tall. But it also has a significant size, which many people see as ironic due to the title. None of us who handled it right away anticipated its thickness. Still, the apparent effort was put into the design since that chunkiness does not make holding it awkward. In fact, the phone gives an even and light grip which makes gripping it enjoyable. We suspect its thin and high aspect ratio is what creates a pleasant experience. The rear side of the phone has a glossy and strong plastic surface. The front screen is made of glass, while the sides are placed in a plastic exterior. Furthermore, there is the traditional QWERTY physical keyboard resembling much like that of a BlackBerry. Unihertz decided to stick with the Apple and Samsung design and sadly, didn't include a 3.5mm audio port on this phone. Though you can use the adapter provided in the box to attach an audio headset. At the top right corner of the phone is an LED notification light, which we haven't seen on a phone for quite some time now. Now, let's discuss the QWERTY physical keyboard, which is one of the standout features of this device. To enter special characters, you tap a bar situated at the bottom of the display, just above the keyboard. The keys are illuminated. Above the keyboard, there is a touch navigation bar that doubles as the fingerprint scanner. You can tap or press on it to return to the home screen and holding down on it will activate Google Assistant. This is an incredibly useful feature that you'll be using regularly. This 4G phone is accepted by dual SIM cards. It agrees with the nano SIM card standard, so using cellular data is simple and advantages such as a strong signal are observed. Joining Wi-Fi networks has been convenient and problem-free. The Unihertz Titan Slim is a decent phone that works well. It has some uncommon features such as an IR blaster, a flashlight key on the hardware, and a QWERTY keyboard. Ultimately, the keyboard sets it apart from other phones. This phone was specifically made for those who prefer a QWERTY keyboard, likely missing the BlackBerry phones. It's not a big market, but it's nice to see that someone is providing something for this niche.